to create a quantity schedule within Revit, very simply you open up your, your Revit model. In this example, I have the sample file, open commercial file within Revit. It comes installed with Revit. So I'm just going to use this for today. Um, so on the left-hand side, if you go down to schedules, you can see I've created a couple here already, but I'm going to create uh, some from new. So I'm just going to go right-click, new schedule slash quantities, and then choose what category I want to schedule or, or, or quantify. So in this case, I'm going to go for doors, uh, door schedule number two. I'm going to call this new door schedule, uh, internal door schedule, internal door schedule. Click OK. Then on the left hand side, it just brings up a series of parameters that I want to schedule out. And you can come back and change these afterwards. Um, so initially, you're going to want the family and type. Um, you might want the fire rating as well. You'll be able to filter by fire rating then also. Uh, and we'll go for width as well because we can place these and send these to a manufacturer uh, if we want. Uh, and I also want to put in the height as well to match. You can do the heat transfer coefficient, your, your U values as well if you want. Uh, the different phases, if, if, if you have those set, presumably everything here is going to be new phase though. Uh, type, any sort of type comments or specification information. If you're using the type mark as well, uh, or the mark value from your instance parameter, uh, left hand side. If you want to put in the manufacturer, any of that type of information, if it has kick plates, the lock function, you can really go down to that level of detail if you want. So I'm just going to click OK on this. So you can see now it pulls up a complete schedule of every door that's in the project. I can then quantify all of these. So we can see here only some have fire ratings. So for example, if I wanted to only find the ones that had fire ratings, I could then go into my fields. I could filter and sort, sort by sort by fire rating if I wanted to. Yeah, that's fine. My client, it's going to divide all of them up. And I want to calculate the grand totals as well. So itemize every instance. So you can see here it's separated every door that does have a fire rating and doesn't have a fire rating. So if I wanted to go that bit step further and only filter out the ones that do have fire ratings, so you can see all of these have 20 minute fire ratings. Fields, filter, filter by fire rating equals, uh, and I can put in here 20 minutes. Just click OK on that. And it will only filter out those. And you can see it's giving me a grand total of 10 doors there. Um, so that also identifies that you have a number of doors that don't have fire ratings on them. So perhaps you want to filter it the other way around and find out your doors that don't have fire ratings. So again, go back into your filters, uh, fire rating equals. So we can just go back into filter by fire rating and I'm just go has no value. Just click OK on that and it's going to give me up every single door that has no value. And I can see here at the end, I've got 90 doors that don't have fire ratings. I can then investigate why they don't have fire ratings. So I could also add on another field or filter here. Uh, for their function, is it internal or external? Put on function and then filter by the function. So interior, exterior. So I'm going to sort and filter by function. Uh, I'm going to filter by fire rating and by function. So equals interior. So we only want to know our interior fire ratings. Um, and we can see all of these are blank. I can then go investigate why exactly these don't have particular fire ratings on them. So I can right click on this one. If I go to highlight and model, it should bring me in my 3D model. It's going to bring me wherever it sees that view. Close that. And it's selected that door in there. I can then go in, have that door selected. And you can see in the left hand side here, I can investigate what type of fire rating it needs in relevance to the location and the room that it's in as well. Mm -hmm.